Welcome to SAT 3310. Today we're going to be talking about Perl and working with SQL. Um, so some background, uh, SQL is just uh, a structured or standardized query language. It was actually developed by IBM back in 1974 as a, a query language structure. Um, some other three letter acronyms that you might see quite a bit, uh, just so you understand what they are. A data source name or DSN. Uh, this is just your uh, where the data is coming from. Uh, the DBI is your database interface. Uh, so generally it's like a um, module maybe for example that you would add to a script. Uh, DBH is your database handle. This is your line of code uh, that would connect your script to the database. And then STH is your statement handle. This would actually be your SQL statement. Um, so these are just some pretty standard three letter acronyms that you're gonna see quite a bit of. When you're working with Perl, the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to be able to do is add a, a DBI for a Perl, as a Perl module. Uh, here's a couple good reference sites that I would recommend uh, looking into. For this class, what we're going to be doing, at least for Perl, Python, and Bash, is using what's called SQL Lite or SQLite. This is a very simple uh, SQL uh, piece of software. It's it's really kind of a a nice piece of software because it just uses a, a single flat file. Um, very low requirements. Very easy to run. Um, could could you run these labs with something like um, Postgres or MySQL? Sure, um, but SQL Lite is going to make things very easy. So the first thing I would do is install the DBI for Perl. Um, you can just use a yum or dnf uh, install uh, Perl class DBI for SQL Lite. Uh, this, is, this is one of my favorite XKCD comics. Uh, this is Little Bobby Tables. Um, I like this because uh, it, it very clearly talks to uh, sanitizing your input uh, and also using SQL um, injection exploits. Um, it's a fun comic. Uh, if you haven't taken database class yet, uh, maybe it'll make more sense later on. So, uh, SQLite. So, to start using SQLite, all you need to do is literally just execute SQLite, and this is version 3, and type the name of the um, database. So, what I've done is I provided a uh, file called Wireless DBL. Uh, this is going to be the file that you're going to use to run your SQL commands on. Once you run the file, you're going to get your SQL prompt, which is SQL Lite and then the greater than sign. Uh, what I would recommend doing is running through some of the help commands. Uh, here you see a screenshot of um, some of the different commands you can use. So these are your dot commands for SQL Lite. Uh, one of the very first things that you should do is after you're um, loaded the wireless DBL, uh, run the command databases and it'll show what databases are available. Uh, you see here there is one database in that file and that database is just called the main. Um, when you want to see what tables are available uh, what you can do is run the SQL Lite command called tables and you can see in the main database for that file there are two tables. One is called the uh, wireless table and one is called the clients table. If you want to see what is contained in the uh, wireless or clients table, you can use the SQL command schema. So you can see um, with schema clients, uh, we've got a couple uh, uh, different fields here. A CID and NID for client ID and network ID, um, MAC, manufacturer, IP type, and IP. 
So these would all contain information on each entry in clients. So you'd have client ID, client Mac, client um, wireless manufacturer, uh, that sort of thing. If you do a schema on the wireless table, you can see there is a lot more information. In the wireless table, these are going to be your actual wireless access points. So you can see there are things like your eSSID and bSSID containing um, your wireless network name and wireless MAC address, um, encryption, um, signal quality, and in addition to uh, standard wireless characteristic information, in this database there's also a um, GPS longitude, latitude, and altitude for each of uh, the entries of your wireless access points. This is a just a real basic, basic intro to SQL. So you can see what I want to do is I want to select all the fields from the clients table. So you can see here, I recall that it was client ID, network ID, um, MAC address, uh, manufacturer, and then IP type and IP address. So I'm selecting everything from the clients and it's just displaying out on the screen. So you can see I've just the client ID is just a sequential. The network ID would then be associated with a wireless network later on. The MAC is the actual MAC address of the wireless client as received. Uh, manufacturer is the manufacturer type based on the first part of the MAC address. IP type is either uh, UDP or TCP and then IP address if it has that information collected. Um, you can do other things like I want to select everything from clients where the manufacturer equals just a particular manufacturer. So in this case I'm, I'm selecting out just all of the Apple uh, wireless clients. Here's another nice um, feature that you can do. Uh, you want to select and you want just the count of everything from clients where manufacturer equals Apple. So what this is telling me here in the screenshot is there are 108 uh, wireless clients that were ID'd with the manufacturer of Apple. Um, in this statement, we're going to select the manufacturer and the count. So that's going to be my two output. Um, I'm selecting it from the wireless clients table. And then I'm going to group it by a um, the manufacturer field. So instead of printing out each individual one, it's going to group um, similar manufacturers together. And then it will order it by the count. So in this example, if you remember, we, we selected, you know, said how many Apple manufacturers were there in the wireless clients? It was 108. What we've done here is we've selected, the, so the two outputs are going to be the manufacturer field and the count field. Um, we're grouping by manufacturer and then we're ordering by lowest to highest the number. So you can see Apple's right about, um, again, 108 uh, results for client manufacturer of Apple. Uh, this is a great uh, website, this tutorials point, uh, SQL Lite with Perl. This is a great website. I highly recommend that you review this website for um, a refresher on, on SQL.